What's going on, Jeromes? So before the start of last season, the Vikings traded for former first-round pick Jalen Naylor. Yes, the guy taken one spot ahead of Justin Jefferson uh, in the 2020 NFL Draft and still had a ton of talent and work out in Philadelphia for a bunch of reasons. But Kwesi, mama, I can change him. That, that, that's right. Where it's like, hey, first-round talent. We can certainly get uh, that potential out of him here in the great state of Minnesota, uh, as well as Matt Daniels was all in on his uh, strong legs, big glutes, really nice calves. Again, I'm salivating over the guy. So Co Coach Hat was all in on Jalen Rager as a special teamer. But, you know, stats-wise, didn't really find his role. I mean, he had eight catches for a buck oh four and one touchdown, the touchdown being on a design shovel pass, and he was really whatever as a punt return, including two muffs last year. But uh, Jalen Rager did have himself a great training camp, a really good preseason, and he made the Vikings' initial 53, but... <sighs> Plot twist. So, uh, Adam Schefter, go. Uh, Vikings are waiving former first-round pick Jalen Rager per, so uh, per source. Now, that is really surprising, especially since the Vikings reportedly, per rap sheet yesterday, were receiving calls about the availability of Jalen Rager uh, in a trade. Now, apparently that was hooey, or you know, potentially maybe there was some interest there, but really some marginal interest because, I mean, if a team came in hot and offered a seventh-round pick, uh, why why wouldn't you take it? So, I mean, that, that just seems like uh, it was uh, probably not. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, but the fact that Jalen Rager did get waived in this spot, uh, again, a little bit surprising uh, considering how good he w looked in training camp preseason, how highly he was regarded uh, by Kevin O'Connell and the coaching staff, and also his $2.4 million base salary this year on uh, the final year of his rookie deal uh, was fully guaranteed. Uh, the Vikings didn't pick up his fifth-year option, uh, but the only way the Vikings can get out from under that is if he's claimed uh, on waivers, which is a possibility. There's a number of wide receiver needy teams uh, out there, including the Denver Broncos, including the Los Angeles Rams, including the Tennessee Titans, uh, who had joint practice uh, with the Vikings uh, two weeks ago uh, and got a very close look at Jalen. So maybe there's a possibility there. But uh, if he goes unclaimed, uh, that 2.4 remains dead on the Vikings books. Now, it can offset. Uh, if he is signed uh, to a deal, which is probably going to be league minimum, and the league minimum for a fourth-year player uh, is about $1 million. Uh, so if he goes on claim, the Vikings will have to eat uh, around $1.4 million dead uh, on their salary cap this year, and whatever they get uh, in a rebate for offsets will uh, come back to them next year, just like with the Dalvin Cook deal. And the Vikings wide receiver depth right now, Obviously, Jefferson, Addison, uh, and Osborne are your top three. But beyond that, I mean, Brandon Powell sort of, sort of did make uh, Jalen Rager redundant. Powell is a very adept kick and punt returner, as well as he looked really good in his own right in training camp and preseason. So I sort of understand it there. Uh, but also, uh, Jalen Naylor, uh, even though he has been injured throughout most of training camp uh, and preseason, uh, obviously the Vikings are, think very highly of him. Kevin O'Connell uh, went on and waxed poetically about Jalen Naylor uh, playing all three receiver spots and last year's fifth-round pick. Uh, obviously, they're all in. So the Vikings uh, carrying five receivers uh, on the uh, 53 right now, and Jalen Rager is the, the man out. Uh, but we'll see what happens uh, when it comes to waivers. I, I do think that he has got a pretty good shot at getting claimed, uh, but we'll see what happens there. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings wave, former first-round wide receiver Jalen Rager. Yes, the guy taking one spot ahead of Justin Jefferson. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull production value.